Madhya Pradesh chief minister says the state's farmers are urging him to call off his fast, but he says he will ensure a fair deal for the protesters. पीड़ित परिवार आज यहाँ पहुँचे मैं पहले ही उनके दुख से दुखी हूँ व्यथित हूँ लेकिन उन्होंने यहाँ आकर उनकी अपनी तकलीफ और वेदना तो है ही लेकिन मुझे उन्होंने ये कहा उपवास की आवश्यकता नहीं उपवास छोड़ दें और उन्होंने ये भी कहा कि मैं उनके गांव जरूर जाऊँ बहुत बड़े दिल के लोग हैं वो बहुत बड़े मन के लोग हैं वो देखिए किसान को उत्पादन का ठीक दाम मिलना चाहिए मध्य प्रदेश ऐसा राज्य है जिसकी कृषि विकास दर 20 परसेंट के ऊपर लगातार चार सालों से रही है अवार्ड भी मिला है अवार्ड भी मिला और उत्पादन जस्ट डबल हो गया दुगना हो गया ये बम्पर उत्पादन की समस्या हो रही है के कारण समस्या भी क्योंकि तो जो प्रयास हमने सिंचाई बिजली पानी सब किया उसके कारण फसल खूब हुई तो दाम गिरे हैं अब हमारी ड्यूटी है कि हम ठीक दाम दें और इसलिए हमने कुछ फसल जो अभी मौजूद है उसके ठीक दाम देने का हमने फैसला किया जैसे हमने ये फैसला किया कि आज हम आठ रुपया किलो खरीदेंगे हमने मूंग के बारे में फैसला किया उड़द के बारे में फैसला किया कुछ तुअर के किसान आए उसके बारे में फैसला किया और अगले साल लाभकारी मूल्य कैसे निकले एक तो भारत सरकार लागत मूल्य तय करती है लेकिन स्टेट स्पेसिफिक कई बार एवरेज अलग निकलता है तो हम उसके लिए भी एक आयोग बना रहे जो निकालेगा और किसान को लाभकारी मूल्य देंगे उनके अनुरोध पर व्रत तोड़ेंगे अब अब हम लोग शांति रहती है व्यवस्था रहती है तो कल चर्चा करके फिर आगे का फैसला बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया बात करने के लिए धन्यवाद Five days since the farmers' protest in Madhya Pradesh, farmers are still worried about the agrarian crisis. Now, in this crisis, it is unclear how they will sow the next crop as they haven't been able to get a decent price for their produce in the markets. And let's uh, go across to my colleague Saurabh Gupta, who has been sending us ground reports. Uh, Saurabh, um, Shivraj Singh says that he'll ensure that they get a, a fair deal. But apparently, there seems to be no respite in sight for the farmers, as you had also told us yesterday. Uh, what's your feedback now? Uh, what updates can you give us? Well, one of the things will be to see once the mandis or these markets where the farmers sell their produce opens today, what kind of response is there at the market, and whether the prices that they're getting for their produce is something that's improved from what they were getting from when the agitation started, or whether it's the same price. Now there's very little stock left for farmers to sell because most of the stuff have already been sold. Because remember, the storage facilities is something that farmers don't have, and they usually want to get uh, rid of uh, what they've grown, or at least sell off what they've grown before the monsoon sets in, before the rains sets in, when they go back to their fields to work for the next crop. So that is something that today, of course, we will be visiting the mandis and seeing how it pans out there, where the farmers are coming with their produce. Because all these days the mandis have been shut, there's been no uh, transactions going on there, and more importantly, we'll be looking at like what the government here has been saying that post demonetization, this two percent cut that traders were taking from farmers for simply paying them in cash, whether that exists or not, the government has said that if there is such a complaint, they will take action against those indulging it, and also. 50% of the payments for farmers that uh, will be made in cash. That's something that the government has said. Let's see if that is unfolding at the uh, Mondays today.